Hello, this is Miss Forsyth coming back at ya. What I wanted to do next was show you guys how to insert your graphs because you do have to include three different graphs. Okay, so three separate line graphs from your data, one for each experiment. So the first graph is just looking at the P caudatum. So what you want to do is just look at this information here. So from my data table, I'm going to select this these two columns right here. We're looking at days and we're looking at just the P caudatum. Okay, from here we're going to go to insert. Oh, wait, wait, oh, sorry. Let's try it again. That's the data we're going to pull. But before you do that, you want to put your graph down here so it's in the right spot on your document. So I just hit enter and then I backspace to get rid of the auto B that showed up. And then you'll click insert and then you'll go to chart. And no, we don't call them charts in science, but it, it's technically a chart for this one. So we're going to put a chart in. And for this specific graph, the easiest way to view and when we're um, looking at the different species, it's over time. So time. When we're looking at time on a graph, you always want to use a line graph, okay? So columns are where we're comparing, but in this case, we're just looking at the change in growth of paramecium over time. So looking at day zero to day 16. So that's over time, so we're going to use a line graph, okay? It doesn't matter which line graph you use. You can use whichever one you find is the best for you. It's, uh, it's honestly up to you. I'm just going to pick the first one because it's there, and I'm going to click OK. In our graph, we only have one set of data to plug in here. So what I'm going to do is this little blue box here in the corner. Do you guys see that? See how my arrow went to like a double diagonal arrow? I'm going to click and drag that over boop, so it only includes data in these first two columns. Now you'll see on the graph it changed into just one line. And then what you can do up here in the data section is you can just delete all that. So I highlighted and I'm deleting. Okay, We don't need any of that information filled in. Right here is where you're going to actually copy and paste your data. So I'm going to come back to my document and scroll up. And you'll see the chart um, option, the Excel um, little pop-up, stays right there. Okay. So I'm going to come back to my data table. And I'm going to highlight just one column at a time. So this will be my first column. Copy that. And I'm going to plug it in. Make sure you select that top box. Okay. And then I'm going to either right-click and hit Paste. Or I'm going to click in this top box and just hit Control V on my keyboard. Oh, that didn't work. Just kidding. Don't do that. Right click and paste. No, the highest isn't working. <gasps> no. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try this one more time. Control C. Control V. Oh, that's why. Don't highlight the whole column. Just click in the first box. If you click in the first box, then it'll auto go down. And you can title this as days. Okay, is that making sense so far? And if you scroll down to your graph, you'll see it'll change. So you guys see on the bottom of your graph, it changed to the different days. Perfect. And if you've done that, you're on the right track. And you can always pause this video if I'm going too fast or too slow. Okay, after you've got your first column set up, you're going to go back up and collect the data that you have, or write in the data. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this everything from here down. Oops. And again, right click, copy, come up here, just click in the series one box, don't highlight it all, and then hit control V. And what you'll see is it'll auto populate with all those numbers. Everyone see that happening? Then what you can do is you can go down to your graph and voila, you have a graph made. And it already put a title on it for you. P. Caudatum grown alone in cells per milliliter. You're done, that's it, that's your first graph. You're gonna do the same thing for graph for, uh, for the Pirelia graph. So insert a chart so you can exit out of there once it's done. So go back up to here, you're on your Word document. Insert, chart. Again, make sure you select line graph. It doesn't matter which one you use, you're using the same type just for um, to make it look good. And then again, doubles, uh, find that double arrow, drag it over so you only are using the first column. You don't need any of that information. Okay, and then you're going to go back up to your data table. Same thing, get all your days plugged in. Just copy paste, control C on my keyboard. Remember to click on the top. Control V down here, and this is days. And go back over here. And this time you're collecting the data for P. Aurelia. Boop, copy. And then, uh, sorry, right here. And this time, click in the top box because that's because if you copy the data from the top, you copy the name and everything. You want to make sure it's from the top. Copy, paste, and this is just match and just matches it. Perfect, done. Go down, scroll down on your Word document, check out your graph. Oh, look at that, huh? 
I'm just going to make some observations here. Look, those graphs look pretty similar, right? Probably telling you you're doing something right, something that we talked about today in class or yesterday in class. All right, so that one's done. The next and the third final graph, and this is easy, you guys. This is what you're going to be doing for the rest of this year, so you want to make sure you know how to do this. Okay? Okay, and then your, so your next one is one graph for the two populations mixed and I'm sorry grown in the mixed culture so this is where you're going to put both of these sets of data into one so it'll be a double line graph for this second one same same idea insert go down to underneath this answer insert chart line click it okay and for this one, once the once the information pops up, you only need to remove one column because we're making we're still going to have two sets of data for this one. And you'll see on your graph it auto makes it to two um, to two lines. Okay, and then go back to your Microsoft Word document, scroll up, start plugging in some data. Yeah, copy. This is P. Cabotum. Paste that one in. Come over here, P. Aurelia. Copy, paste, uh-oh, did that work? Oh, oh no, wait, hold on, I did this in the right area. Try again. There we go. Now it's all the same. Oh, I forgot to my days. Try copy. Yikes, it's going too fast for you guys. I just want, there we go days and then I got the days of the title here perfect and if it's really bothering you that you can't see you can always move this around a little bit You're like oh my gosh I can't see what my data looks like then you go and then it all matches up okay so once you have that done again scroll down let's go look oh my goodness I have a double line graph and it looks pretty good that should show us something here the only difference is this one will not give you a title because you're looking at two line graphs so now you can just make up your own title here for what this is so you can just say Two populations, mixed culture, or you can just title it as mixed paramecium culture. Growth, right? Okay, and that's it. If you have more questions about how to do a graph, make sure you come to Class Connect or you are attending the help session. We'll talk about the conclusion questions during Class Connect as well. Thank you.